Sione. For today's sponsor, we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16. And using my SKEG discount code, will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So, uh, today we have another fast video uh, from something that I can call news or not. I don't really know if someone's made a video about it or don't, I don't really know. Uh, but still, my friend Kevin sent me some links, my friend Kevin from Facebook, thanks Kevin, by the way, and he sent me some links uh, from some patents, okay? So today, we're gonna talk about the possible AMD's RTX voice. As you can see, you have here the AMD trademarks, as you can see, for example, the last one that they did, the AMD Infinity Platform, it is here, the AMD Advantage, which was, was, <laughs> which was shown that name was in the previous presentation from AMD where they actually show them the show us the um, for example the fidelity effects super resolution and so on so on so on uh, then we have the together we advance one path smart access memory that almost anyone knows now the AMD infinity cache and so on so on so on so there is nothing here um, of the AMD's RTX voice, of course, because, for example, if if we go back to the Store MI, for example, we're in September 2020, or the RDNA, March 2020, so there's nothing here. We even go to the image trademark of the Vega, and so on, Vega 7, and so on. Um, but then we have this link, which is not uh, an approved patent, but instead an, a, an application patent which is detecting voice regions in a non-stationary noise environment. And of course, this is an application from Advanced Micro Devices or AMD. Okay, as we can see, methods, and it, by the way, it was done on March 2019. I don't know if uh, the patent just didn't go on. Uh, I, I don't know if they are still waiting for the, the patent to be approved, if they actually are going to make anyone anything different, but well, at least this really sounds like the RTX voice. So, methods, devices and systems for voice activity det detection, an audio signal is received by receiver circuitry, uh, a pitch analysis is performed on the received audio signal by pitch analysis circuitry, uh, a high-order st statistics analysis is performed on the audio signal by statistics analysis circuitry. So basically, uh, it performs an analysis on the audio by the pitch, okay? And we have several things like, for example, description, background. In typical audio capture scenarios, such as voice capture, a microphone receives an, receives an audio signal that... Uh, signal, sorry, my god! A, a microphone receives an audio signal that includes several different types of signals, either concurrently or at different points in time. In some cases, the signals include a desired voice signal, ambient noise and slash or other non-stationary signals, such as music and microphone noise. So basically, what I see here is, is basically they want to, to isolate the sounds, uh, so they can remove it, like the RTX voice does. If you don't know what is or what can RTX voice do, just watch this bit. Microphone and my face. Okay, this this is this is genuinely the coolest shit I've ever seen. All right, there. I just disabled the filter. This is what it sounds like right now. Now, can you guys hear that banging? Now watch. I'm gonna turn on the feature. Give it a sec. Now it's enabled. Can you guys still hear the banging on the desk while I'm talking, or does my voice actually sound pretty good? So yeah, basically the RTX voice um, functions really, really well. Uh, and for people having a lot of background noise, it is really, really a must if you want to stream or record something. So yeah. And basically this seems to be the AMD's RTX voice. Why isn't the patent approved yet? I don't really know, but well, it's interesting to see. And we have detailed, even we have detailed description, as you can see, block diagrams, 
everything. We have lots of specifications that I can't actually explain to you because I don't own this knowledge. Uh, I don't have the knowledge to do that. Um, but we have lots of specifications, as you can see here. Lots of calculations, which I can't read. <laughs> for example, the claims. A method for voice activity detection. The method comprising. I think it's, it's read comprising. Receiving by receiver circuitry an audio signal. Performing by pitch analysis circuitry a pitch analysis on the received audio signal. Performing by statistics analysis circuitry a higher order statistics analysis on the audio signal. Determining by logic circuitry whether the audio signal includes a voice region based on the pitch analysis and the eye in the high order statistics analysis and outputting and output signal from the logic circuitry the output signal indicating that the audio signal includes voice if the audio signal was determined to include a voice region or indicating that the audio signal does not include voice if the audio signal was determined to not include a voice region so basically yeah it puts out the, so the, um, the sound if it includes a voice region uh, determined by the algorithm, I suppose. If it doesn't, then the, vo the, the sound does not come out uh, in the final, okay, in the final step. So basically it cuts the audio that isn't voice. So basically this seems, this seems like really the RTX voice, or at least how it works. It will be way different, I suppose, in terms of algorithm, but um, in terms of general usage, it is an RTX voice. Now, once again, it is from March 2019 and it wasn't approved yet. So, will it come? I don't really know and I can tell you, but it is really nice to see that AMD is really looking into actually making um, an RTX voice, their own RTX voice, so they can actually isolate uh, the voice and remove the background noise for streamers and so on, because believe me, some streamers are, usu are usually using just NVIDIA for two reasons two reasons. The first one is actually the encoder, so in terms of streaming, they have a better encoder, which is the NVENC, N-V-E-N-C, um, while AMD only has the H.264, which is the AVC, and it isn't that, that great. For recording, they have the H.265, which is quite better, but it is just for recording and not streaming, so streamers are usually using NVIDIA due to the, to the encoder, and then due to the RTX voice, so they can filter the background noises. Um, and that helps quite a lot in some scenarios. Yeah. And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know uh, what you think about the AMD's RTX voice possibility. And if you think it will come soon or not. And why it isn't coming yet. Um, and if you would buy an AMD GPU just for this. Uh, function and maybe for a better encoder. I really want to know what you guys think about this um, But it is really interesting that it's almost it, it passed two years and we still have no approved um, No approved patent for the um, for this Detecting voice regions in a non-stationary noise environment. So yeah interesting though guys seriously, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.